I'm really, I got a mixed feeling. As soon as I entered there, I was a little frightened. <laughs> to see so many women power. Luckily, probably now he was beside me. <laughs> but once I sat here, I was really seeing all bright faces. With achievements sparkling in their eyes. It was a great feeling. I should thank uh, Sumati Devi and our uh, office winners, and especially Mrs. Uh, Prabhu Naudhi. They came and invited me. I thought it was just another function, but when I came here, I could see achievement all around here. Woman is a power. Woman is something more than a man. That's why woman can give birth to men. Men can't give birth to women. The very existence of men is credit of a woman. However, uh, in this men dominated society, she has not been given the right place, right opportunities. But of late, woman is asserting herself. She is pushing forward herself. The best thing woman is thinking nowadays is to become financially independent. The dependency of uh, finances on a man has created a lot of other dependency. But once uh, you are financially independent, so you get a lot of other independence also. It is very easier than say. But uh, always woman will be successful. For one simple reason is uh, by nature woman is hardworking. She can do multi task. Very few men can do multi task. You take it from me. <laughs> In the morning, you take care of your children, your husband, your uh, servants, everybody at one go. Second is, uh, woman biologically, she is very sincere. Sincerity is her character. Otherwise, a man, a sincerity is a virtue. So he has to be consciously trying every time to be a sincere. Woman by nature is very sincere. This was my experience. I have seen a woman in my mother's room, my sister's room, my wife's room, my teacher's room, so many. And mother and a child is the only relation which is pre-birth. All other relations with the father, sister, brothers, everything is after we come to this earth. But woman with mother and a child relation is the only pre-birth relation. That is me. And, and it is uh, such a beautiful relation that carries on it carries on beyond the time and space limits. Woman is power, but what I want you to be is, woman is power all right, but I want all your entrepreneurs to be a powerful woman. You have to 
be born in whatever field you choose, you should have a very positive attitude. You should lead it from the front. ये कैसा करना है, वो कैसा करना है, नो, ऐसा करो, ऐसा करो, lead it from the front. Then you become leaders, not entrepreneurs. And once you become a leader, you can be a achiever. Successful woman is different from an achiever woman is different. Achievement is something more than the success. You create something new. Your creation might help thousands of people. That's what uh, our man has done. Therefore, I want women to be a uh, achievers. So my Vivekananda said that uh, death is not the end for achiever. Achiever lives, lives beyond death. Therefore, uh, women achievers are the greatest inspirational source for generation to come. And don't think that uh, Economy is the prerogative of men only. Actually, economy is very, very close to the heart of women. Economy starts from home. We see a lot of banks going bankrupt in the Western world. Very big banks going bankrupt. Of course, now few cooperative banks here also they have started misusing funds. But the amount of banks and financial institutions get uh, bankrupt there and a lot of families come on the street. Whereas in India, you don't see that. One simple reason is, ours is a saving culture. In Western world, it is spending culture. They spend more than what they earn. We save what we earn. And this saving is best done by a woman in a kitchen. Right from kitchen man. She saves some money and she keeps it in that way or what you call muscle at the <laughs> So there is a there is a theory, there is a direct uh, comparison and competition between masala dabba of Indian kitchen by a woman to the biggest banks in America. <laughs> and this Masala Dabba has proved that it is much more stronger than those banks. <laughs> so culture makes the difference. Culture makes the difference. And uh, woman is also creative. You take an art, a woman artist, she outshines men in so many ways. Only a few extraordinary men can come to the program. So you are creative, you are economically, it is in your, uh, close to your heart. You are sincere, biologically. You are hardworking by nature. What else more? These are the capital to grow. Money doesn't make money. It is our hard work which makes the money. And uh, for me, I also feel that women are very lucky. A person may toil 24 hours. The result is X. A woman toils for even 8 hours. The result is 2X. 